yogis, medical professionals, people all over the world. Welcome to Daily Wellness. I'm Emily, I'm doing my medical residency and I'm trying to share the gift of daily movement and mindfulness with myself and with anyone else who comes across it and would like to partake and hopefully enjoy it. So today I'm gonna start seated with my leg straight out in front of me. I can really flex my toes towards me and point them away from me and begin to really feel the earth supporting me as I place my hands kind of on the ground by my hips. I'm gonna continue here breathing in as I point my toes towards me and exhaling as I point them away from me. Just to jazz it up, I'm gonna alternate. Pointing right toes towards me and left toes away from me. Shoulders roll down the back, and then vice versa. Not needing to link up breath and movement, but maybe noticing when the two do unite. Inhale, I bring my right toes towards me, left toes away from me. And exhale, I bring left toes towards me, right toes away from me. Then I come to just find a neutral position with toes pointing to the sky. I'm going to inhale my hands up. I'm going to reach up, look up, maybe arch back a little bit and exhale and forward. Breathing here, letting my belly massage my thigh. Neck can be neutral as my hands come to rest in a natural place. Maybe hands, forearms. And maybe, maybe right here is good enough for today, or maybe forehead to shin, wherever you're at. I am in the middle. Happy medium. And inhaling, I elongate from crown to tail, and exhale, I fold forward even deeper. Now my next inhale, I'm gonna slowly roll up as I bring right sole up foot to left inner thigh. Inhaling both arms up again. I'm now gonna bow over my left leg, forehead coming towards me. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then I'm going to windshield wiper my feet out long in front of me for a moment before switching legs so that right leg is long and left foot is uh, making contact with right upper thigh. With the inhale, both arms up again. And exhale, reach my hands towards my feet as I come into a forward fold over my right leg. And hands can press foot, ankle, calf, whatever's the most comfortable. And how do you know what's most comfortable? You can experiment and see what you observe. And I inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And on my next inhale, I come up. I'm gonna bring the soles of my feet together as I create more space between my pelvis and my feet. Grasping my toes with both hands. I'm gonna inhale to lengthen here and exhale, bow forward so that forehead comes to the soles of my feet. And in forward folds, I notice it's easier to appreciate the sound of my breathing. Almost like holding a seashell up to your ear. So I inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. 
Inhale. And exhale. And then inhaling back up, I'm going to return to a most comfortable seat, maybe the most comfortable seat of the day. And inhale, I'm going to fill up my belly, ribs, and chest. And exhale from my chest, ribs, and belly. And continue breathing in this way. And bring palms to heart center. Just take a moment to appreciate the journey. All the effort put in towards growing myself as a person and as a professional. I think in residency there are many opportunities to grow in both realms and it's a pretty remarkable transformative process because every day you get to practice the art and the science of medicine and it's such a privilege and it's also something to give you know it deserves giving yourself some self-compassion as well because of all the hours that you're putting in and so taking a moment here to honor the journey and the progress made thus far i also wanted to take a moment to reflect on my own inner state as life whether or not you're in residency has lots of challenges and a lot of times our kind of worry about how we will react to those challenges is worse than the challenges themselves and so having the outer world reflect our inner world it's worthwhile to practice being calm feeling calm reassuring ourselves so that we're not suffering un too much unnecessarily imagining how um, terrible situation's gonna be. Because usually in reality, it's, it's not that bad. And especially if we can let it go, it's quite fleeting. So in the name of cultivating inner calm, I'm just gonna take a moment to visualize that Visualize balancing stressful thoughts with calming thoughts. And in the name of balance, let's come into a little balancing pose with extra challenge if you're on a squishy surface like I am. So first I am going to come into a plank pose. I mean, placing palms under my shoulders and toes under my, my heels, legs long, arms long and strong. I'm gonna gently rock back and forth. And then I'm gonna lift my left leg up and right arm up and see what this feels like on a squishy surface. And then I'm gonna gently release those back down to the earth. And feeling strong again, I'm now going to lift my right leg up and my left arm up. And breathe here, maybe smile, and then return to center. Come into take a downward dog. So hips high, heels low. Palms and feet pressing into the earth. And then returning to a plank pose, I'm going to roll over to my left side and reach my right fingertips to the sky. <laughs> this is like the moon bounce of yoga surfaces. I should try it on a trampoline when I get the chance. And then returning to center. I'm going to take a breath here and then roll over onto my right hand and foot and reach left fingertips to the sky. I just feel my heart shine open here. And finally returning to center, I'm gonna come into another downward dog. 
hips high, heels low, head loose, jaw relaxed, face relaxed. Reaching hips up towards the sky. And I'm gonna come onto my knees and return to a comfortable seat and thank myself and I thank you for sharing the journey. I hope it's helpful for you. Um, so tomorrow's another full day, which will be um, filled with many opportunities to practice balancing stressful thoughts with calming thoughts. And I wish you much success wherever you are, whoever you are. Thank you very much. Namaste.